Hey there, everybody. Welcome to our preview for The Blacklist, Season 10, Episode 1, The Night Owl. It's a great name. I'm really excited. This Blacklister, I, I hear that uh, he, just, he drinks a lot of Red Bull, stays up till like 1 in the morning, like types away at a computer. Very imposing threat. All right. This sounds like you, except you take out that Red Bull and you put in Mountain Dew and it's you. I love Mountain Dew pitch black, guys. And they're taking yeah. it away. They just brought it back. And All they're taking right. It from How me. many cases of that do you have? Three. Okay. No, we don't need to talk about any more of that. Just I think you're set up. It's I'm good for now. But okay, we have a lot to get into here. Thanks to the synopsis. We'll talk about some teases, some yep. things to really get excited about. But hit that subscribe button as we go through because we will be here. Throughout all of season 10, the final season, wah, 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 to talk all about this. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have reviews, we're going to have previews, we're going to have theory discussion as we have here at the channel for years now. So if you're new, welcome. I am Jess. This is Matt. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and stick with us. We also have lots of other fun stuff going on here at the channel. We're going to have Snowfall. We're covering Bel Air. Yeah. I mean, Succession's coming up, Survivor's coming back, Mandalorian. <laughs> coming back there's so much stuff yes. that we have coming up here at the channel so hit that subscribe button follow us over on instagram matt and just tv okay so the first i think main order of business here entering this episode is that there is a time jump it's not anywhere near as big as the time jump that we got heading into this past season it's going to be six months after what happens with Wu Jing getting out? What happens with the Marvin list? Like all of that sort of time. So basically, Wu Jing has had a lot of time entering this premiere to just sort of like scheme away. Yeah. And I mean, I wasn't sure with the trailer after seeing it if there was going to be a time jump because they were kind of cutting it together where we saw, you know, Wu Jing getting into the car like straight out from prison kind of thing, like getting escaping that I was just kind of like, okay, I guess there's no time jump, which, you know, I'm actually, this is one of the first times I'm glad that there is some time jump yeah. because I don't want to watch Wu Jing making 150 phone calls <laughs> yeah. being like, hey, are you in, pr oh, you're in prison? Okay, uh, what about you? Oh, this person's dead. Oh, hi, Madeline Pratt, <laughs> let's go. Like, I don't want to see that. I want to yeah. see him ready to rock and roll. Six months is a good amount of time that he's gotten everyone together to go after Reddington. Yeah, I, I think it, it sets up the season really well. And another part that makes this interesting is they the synopsis says that Reddington is resurfacing in Manhattan amidst an explosion, but that word resurfacing does raise that question of, okay, where has he been all this time? Has he like gone off to like another mountain and doing like some other stuff like that? Like he did after season eight, because he got closure on Liz's death. He knows what happens now. I don't know if he needs some sort of peaceful retreat or I, I just want to know what he's been up to. Well, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, six months have passed. So yeah. either we have Wu Jing during that time getting all his ducks in a row to be able to go after Reddington or during these six months, Wu Jing has been sending all his ducks out to start getting Reddington and Reddington's just been in kind of hiding for the past six months trying to deal with, you know, all these blacklisters coming after him. Yeah, and it's going to be sort of interesting to see how much time, if any, they devote to sort of all of this, because we know there's going to be a lot that happens in the present. Like, you know, we talked already about a trailer that was out there, you know, last week. And mm -hmm. in that, it's clear that Aram is there because Aram is the person who, like, makes a phone call about the explosion. So we're not going to have to wait very long to see Amir back on the show. No, it's crazy because... He just left the show <laughs> yeah. and they they tied it up in the finale and it's like, and now he's back in the premiere. And that's why I'm kind of wondering if during the time that he decided to leave and go and do some other stuff on Broadway, that then they found out it was going to be the final season. He was like, you know what? Yeah. You know, I got to come back for the final season. They're like, yeah, we need you back for the final <laughs> season. But the first episode, like you just left the show. I'm yeah. not mad. About no. it, but like this is amazing yeah and i you know i, I don't have any knowledge of this but I, I would be surprised if this is the only time we see amir 
through the final season. Oh, man, I hope it's not the only yeah, time. Like, I think we'll see him probably at least one or two more times, maybe more. Depends on what his schedule ends up looking like. But having him sort of be this connective tissue, and it works because the Blacklist already films in New York. So you could just sort of naturally establish all of this. Yep. But, you know, following everything that's sort of set up here with this explosion, there is a former Blacklister who is found at the scene. Yeah, and we saw that in the trailer, that somebody there is dead. So who is it? Is it, you know, is it who is it? Like, <laughs> it was hard to tell because, yeah. I mean, you know, explosion. But <laughs> it, it'll be interesting to see who they decided to put in that building. Here's... Here's my theory, and it's also a very oh, Tim it's a very stupid theory. All so right. we're gonna say that from the jump. <laughs> the person who is dead is somebody who the producers asked back, and they said no, and so they're like, okay, if we can't use you, we're just gonna kill you at the start of the show, so that we can sort of nod to. If it is Alexander Kirk who is dead after all the comments about the whispers, I am going to be terrified to go into the comment section of any future video because it's going to be a complete and total you-know-what show. Yeah, it really would be. I I think that it's going to be sort of a blacklister that we just kind of, yeah. you know, have forgotten about over the years that could have wanted revenge, but it wasn't yeah. really that big a deal. What if it's somebody who Wu Jing had sort of went to and was like, <laughs> you know, help me out here. I've got this plan. And maybe they're sort of like, no. And then Wu Jing yeah. is like, this is my chance to make a bold proclamation that I'm here. I'm ready. I mean, Reddington's got to know I mean, that Wu Jing is at least out there at that point. He may not know that he's after him, but I don't think you know, the prison release ends up going just like under the radar. If I had to guess the yeah. person who has blown that place up is Reddington, I would assume <laughs> that if there's a blacklister that's in there and he knows that the blacklisters are after him, that's what's happening. He's he's a one man show going after the whole list. I think what I'm really hoping for about this episode in particular is that I think season nine got better and better as it went along and we kind yes. of understood more of where it was going, but the, it did not start well. Like it had a really no. slow start. <laughs> like the first few episodes were just not good. And I want them to really get to the thick of things with Wu Jing, like right away. Like if you've got Chen Han, don't, don't waste him. Like, give us good stuff from the start that establishes him in this world again. Yeah, and I know not everyone is a fan of Wu Jing. He was only in one episode, yeah. so I'm not really sure why so many people are not <laughs> willing to give him a chance. I mean, I thought he was a really interesting character in that he did have a big network. Yeah. He really was sort of the first person that Reddington screwed over that he had a bit of a deeper relationship with work wise. So I think he is the best person to come back. Also, I just love Chin Han. I think he's a really yeah. fun, good actor. If you don't follow his Instagram, you absolutely <laughs> should. He's hilarious. And yeah. he's still there working. So, you know, if you're not a fan of the Wu Jing character, I'm sorry. Put your <laughs> hard hat on because he's around. Yeah. He just posted the other day that he's out there doing ADR. So yeah. he's he's still working on the show. Yeah, he, he's going to be around a really good while. And that's, you know, that's fine by me. I mean, he's going to be a great vessel because of sort of what you mentioned, his organizational skills. It's like, yes. this is usually the sort of thing you put on like a very boring resume. But like, it's a great thing for you if you're like a master criminal, because it's like you can recruit people. You can bring people in. And I'm yes. sure. It also means that he's got some cred sort of in the criminal world. So if he is going to other criminals, that yeah. they would be like, okay, they they may have heard of him. So a couple of other things that I think are at least worth thinking about with this premiere right now. I mean, we've already seen that you know, Sia Malik is going to be making her debut in mm -hmm. this episode. So they're not waiting around on that. I mean, we've already talked a good bit about like, why is she there? Why does the task force want her? I hope mm -hmm. we get answers on that soon. Yeah. And I mean, we're going to have some more videos coming up just so you guys know of sort yeah. of like, who do we think is coming back? Are we going to see Megan Boone come back? We think, yes. Samara going to come back? 
I hope so. I do too. That you know, if this is the final season, can Aram just have a happy ending, please? Yeah. You know, that would be great. I mean, it's it's hard to know who's going to be coming back, but I do think we are going to see a lot of familiar faces this season. It is the final season. Yeah. I also hope we get some sort of answer or information as to where Dembe really stands because mm. it's like we had a great interesting evolution for him mm -hmm. last season and I know not a lot of people liked him with the FBI I understood why they did it but there hasn't been anything suggesting that Mirsa or Weecha are coming back so no. if Reddington's being chased down by Wu Jing isn't he gonna need a little bit of help here yeah I mean is it possible that Dembe's not with the FBI anymore or he's kind of riding the line and helping out Reddington as well it's it's gonna be interesting to see where he ends up because i mean we all really like him yeah. not at the fbi and yeah. by reddington's side and if this is the final season yeah. like please put them together yeah just make this a big party for blacklist fans like make this a really really great celebration bring back a lot of other act they've been really secretive so it's hard to really know what they're yeah. doing but I want it to be like what The Flash is promoting itself as for its final season, where it seems like they're bringing back every single person who had at least two seconds on the show. Yeah, and it feels like that's what this season is going to be set up for as well. If it's Reddington versus the entire yeah. Blacklist, we're going to be seeing a lot of familiar faces. Okay, well, let us like know. Like Tom. Oh, boy. Could you imagine? <laughs> I know that there's lots of theories, yeah. tinfoil hat theories yeah, yeah, out yeah, there yeah, that yeah. he could still be alive. Yeah. I am one of those people. There was no why incision on him. That was a retelling <laughs> story from Reddington to Liz. We didn't actually see that. That was what he was saying. That is my theory. He could be out there. Listen, Ryan is free right now. Let's go. Ryan, if you're watching this video 12 minutes in, <laughs> New Amsterdam is over. Don't you miss being on NBC? This is your opportunity to go back to the network that gave you a platform and gave you a spinoff and canceled that spinoff a <laughs> month later. This is your chance. But okay, well, let us know your hopes for the Blacklist premiere in the comments. Hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. We will see you here next time.